Alright, so just letting y'all know, there will be some Resident Evil 8 spoilers in this video. So if you are trying to avoid those, well, I suggest not watching any further. Anyways, now since I've given that warning and gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this. If you find this kind of content enjoyable, by the way, consider leaving a like sometime on the video. The support is greatly appreciated, everyone, for real. It's very motivating. So, as some of you may know, in Resident Evil Village, Duke the Merchant is a very helpful but mysterious character in the game. Even Ethan asked Duke who he was, and here was his response. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much, and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. So, yeah, it seems like he's not even fully aware of who he is either. Or he's just playing stupid. Either way, he's an interesting character and a great addition the developers added to the game. The developers also made sure to incorporate a bunch of different unique reactions we can get from him as well. Such as his reactions over us firing our weapons around him. Keep in mind, you can't shoot Duke at all. However, you can shoot around him, and here's some of the things he says. A lovely weapon, sir. Do be careful not to waste your ammunition. Yeah, I thought since the developers took the time to incorporate all of this with him, I'd take the time to show you all some of the unique things he does say. We'll be starting off here by selling each of the main boss's remains to him and listening in to what he has to say about each one. And by main bosses, I'm talking about, you know, the house leaders. And then I'll get into Heisenberg's hammer. But yeah, first, let's see what he says about all of these. Oh, Lady Dimitrescu. Beautiful even in death. That waistline, yes. That ending, oh my gosh. Anyways, uh, let's see what happens now when we sell Angie the doll to him. Ah, Miss Angie. Just adorable. Porcelain dolls are very popular, you know. So it seems like he's into porcelain dolls because of their value. That's interesting. Um, now let's go ahead and sell Moreau's remains to him. So he has to say about his remains. This is Lord Moreau's? I suppose it's what they call the beauty of the grotesque. Man, Moreau was interesting, though, I have to admit. And lastly here, before getting into Heisenberg's hammer, and how to craft it and whatnot, let's go ahead and sell his remains and listen into what Duke has to say. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. So, yeah, as you heard, all of that was considered unique dialogue from him that you get from specifically selling those items. Like, you don't get that dialogue again from selling, like, poultry or something. It's specifically from those, which I like. I like how the developers incorporated special dialogue like that with Duke. Gets us a little bit more acquainted with him and his opinion and stuff. I like that. So, next up here, I'm going to actually sell Heisenberg's hammer, the boss's weapon. And this is actually a hidden thing that you can get in the game. You have to find pieces to put this together. You can easily pass this up your first playthrough, like I did. But yeah, unfortunately we can't use it as a weapon. That would be freaking awesome if we could. I mean, we can use a lightsaber as a weapon, but yeah, we, we can't use Heisenberg's hammer. Apparently it's too heavy. I guess that makes sense. A lightsaber isn't super heavy like this hammer, but still, it would have been pretty cool if we could have. Anyways, let me go ahead and sell him this and see what he has to say. I have yet to hear what he has to say about this. I literally just got my hands on this hammer and got to this part where I can actually sell it to him. All right, so let's hear what he has to say. Oh, you've brought in something special. Hmm, to be real, I think I've heard that before when selling a very valuable item. Um, let me go ahead and load up a save with me having this hammer again and sell it to him again. See if we get some kind of different dialogue. Ooh, where 
did you get your hands on such a thing? I'm gonna sell this to him a few more times. So far, I don't think there's any unique special dialogue, specifically from selling him this Heisenberg's hammer. Right now, this dialogue that we're getting, we can also get from selling other very valuable items. Now, this is something to splurge on. Ah! Now to spend like kings! <laughs> so yeah, I mean, we do get some kind of special dialogue, but it's just special dialogue from selling Duke a very valuable item. It doesn't seem like he actually registers that we're giving him Heisenberg's hammer. What I mean by that is, like, how we sell him Heisenberg's remains, he does seem to register that it is his remains, and he comments about Heisenberg. And, most importantly, we get the same dialogue every time. It's not something different each time we go to sell him the remains. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. And that goes the same for the others as well. Oh, Lady Dimitrescu. Beautiful even in death. That waistline, yes. However, when we sell him the hammer, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Although, I'm not saying he doesn't have any kind of reaction. As you heard, he does have reactions over selling this to him. Oh. You've brought in something special. But he could have that same reaction over selling a different valuable item. Good deal. I don't know. This was something, though, that piqued my curiosity and thought this might be something else that other players may be curious about. Heck, to be real with you, I didn't even know we could get Heisenberg's hammer until I found one of the pieces during my second playthrough. I'm not going to lie. I was let down, though, when I found out I couldn't use the hammer. But at least we can still sell it to Duke and get a whopping 45k from it. If you sell the pieces individually, you don't get near that amount. So it's definitely worth it to combine them. So yeah, next up here, I'm actually going to be showing you all how to craft Heisenberg's hammer. I'm going to be showing you all where each piece is located at within his factory. So you can craft this for yourself and sell it to him for 45k. I mean, it is worth it to get because after all, it is an extra 45k. You just have to know exactly where each of these rooms are that have the pieces. You can pass them right up during your playthrough like I did with my first one. Okay, so for starting reference here for the pieces, I'm going to be starting at the mold room within Heisenberg's factory. For the first piece, you just want to head through this door over here. At first, it will be locked, but eventually you will unlock this door. And down this hallway, as you can see, there's a wall that we can blow open. <laughs> this reminds me of Zelda. I don't know. These walls like this remind me of Zelda, to be real with you guys. But yeah, we're just going to have to blow it open. And then, bada bing, bada boom, we got to secret entrance here now to this room really wasn't that secretive with a giant yellow x on the uh, cracked wall but still nonetheless this is supposed to be like some kind of hidden room within his factory and within this chest here we could find the first piece that we need to make heisenberg's hammer Alright, so anyways, in order to get the next piece, we're going to have to progress far enough into the factory until we've made the key with the key mold. This is an essential item within the story. You literally can't progress past this whole part until you got the key. So don't really worry about missing the key or anything. However, you do have a high chance of missing this piece, though, that's required to make Heisenberg's hammer. In order to find the second piece once we've gotten the key, once again, I'm going to be starting from the mold room. We're just going to want to bust the left and head up this flight of stairs. And then bust another left and go through this door right here that requires Heisenberg's key. And within this room we'll encounter four different enemies. But yeah, as you can see within the luggage in the center here, we can find the other piece that's needed to make this hammer. Once we got this piece, we then just want to go to our items within our inventory and then go down to one of these pieces that we just found and click the option to combine. As you can see, this will then form Heisenberg's hammer, which is considered very valuable. As you can see, the description for it reads, A giant hammer made from machine parts. And it states it's too heavy to use, unfortunately. I would love to have used this as a weapon. But, yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully this helped you out in some kind of way and you found this enjoyable. As a firm reminder here at the end, if you did find this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on the video. The support is greatly appreciated. As always, though, that is totally up to you if you want to do so or not. Just leaving a firm reminder. I'm out of here, though. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.